There we go. Hello, everyone. I hope you're all well. Thank you for joining me on YouTube this evening. It's going to be a little bit different tonight. Uh, we're not going to be on my quiz. We are going to be doing a live quiz night. Jason last week requested there were more questions in the quiz. Uh, so I've delivered for you. And here we are. And we're doing our live quiz on YouTube tonight. So thank you very much for joining. I've got 12 of you so far. I've just been live on uh, the Creely Crew Facebook page. So hopefully, a few more people will see that and come and join us. Hello, if you've just joined us. Hi, everyone. Lovely to see you all. Hope you're staying safe in lockdown. We're just going to wait to see how many we get for the quiz this evening. Now, if you are just waiting, if you have just got here, uh, then uh, let me let you know that you need a pen uh, and a paper or a, a, a pen and some paper, or you can use your phone to write the answers on. But we're going to be doing a live quiz this evening with answers all coming up on the screen just here and questions coming up on the screen to help you and we've got a few special guests as well uh not a few special guests i've got one special guest for you but i'm i'm sure you'll love it <laughs> so um we've got 17 of you hello now i'm going to be keeping an eye on the comment section as well now if you have got a youtube account uh you can comment on this video if you haven't you can sign up to one really quickly uh, and you can post comments throughout the video to talk to me and to talk to everybody else uh to talk to to each other as well so please feel free to let me know that you're here let me know that you've come to join us uh, via the comment section and they'll all come up on my screen just here so say hello let me know that you're playing um, of course lockdown three here we are um, I hope you're all staying safe I am now living in a Creeley Lodge. There's no guests here. So um, Josh has been kind enough to uh, let me move in for the winter, which is great. No hot tub, sadly, uh, but we are in a Creeley Lodge, keeping it safe and looking after it as much as we can. <laughs> um, and uh, it's a little bit warmer than the caravan was as well. So not had any comments yet, but let me know you're there. I hope you are there. I hope we got some comments coming up. I can show you comments on the screen. This is great, this thing. Uh, it's provided by StreamYard. So thank you to StreamYard for them. Hopefully your comments will come up as we go. Now I've got lots of technical things to be doing um, during this as well. Oh, there we go. Hey, we're uh, Travis, Morgan's here. Hello to everybody. Now, we've got uh, five rounds we're going to be doing this evening. We've got five rounds to play. Uh, just to let you know some of the rounds we're going to be playing. So the first round is Who Said It? Multiple choice round. Uh, then we've got a points build round, which is all going to be over to you to build your own points. Then we've got UK You Slay. Then we've got the TV and film round. Uh, and we might do a bonus round of TV theme tune if we've got time, if it's not going on too long. Um, and then for the final round, we're playing What's the Tweet? Now, I must say a big, big, big thank you to the entertainment team leader, Yasmin, for all these questions tonight, who's uh, written a lot of the quiz. So thank you to Yas for the questions. I've also got a drink on the go. Let me know if you're drinking this evening. I'm on the Asti tonight. Cheers. But this is just a little bit of a chance for you to sit back, relax, socialize, do something that's not just sat in front of the television, do something a little bit interactive. So it looks like we've got 18 of you coming to join us at the moment, which is great. Amazon saying hello. Hello, 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 Amazon. Travis is saying hello. Hello, Travis. And Morgan as well. Thank you. Morgan, nice to see you. Okay, so hopefully you are ready for this quiz this evening. Let's go over the rules. Now, if I look over here, it's not because something's going on over here. I've got my my second screen over here. I'm using my telly tonight. It's, it's high tech. So the rules are simple this evening. No mobile, no mobile phones. Strict rule. No mobile phones. No cheating. No cheating of any kind. No Googling. Uh, and we'll know by your score. OK. Uh, and my decision, the quiz master's decision is final. And finally, you'll need a pen, a paper and a brain full of answers. Oh, Jason's on the Thatcher's gold. Yes, Jason. Love a bit of Thatcher's gold. Oh, and Jason's here as well. Hello, Jason. So uh, you don't forget, you can also write your answers on your phone as well. So round number one, here we go. We are going to be playing 
Who said it? So you are going to see some famous quotes from famous people. You've got multiple choice to choose who exactly said it. And uh, all you've got to do is write it down on your piece of paper. Then we'll come back and we'll go over the answers again. Easy peasy. So are you ready? Question number one. I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. So have a good look at that. I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. That could be A, Madonna, B, Winston Churchill, C, Lenny Henry, and D, Princess Diana. All you got to do is write your own answers down on a piece of paper or whatever writing device you have. Okay, moving on to question number two. It is every parent's dream to outlive their children. Who said this? A, Peter Griffin, B, Homer Simpson, C, Stan Smith, or D, Rick Sanchez from Rick and Morty, Stan Smith from American Dad, Homer Simpson from The Simpsons, or Peter Griffin from Family Guy. Get those answers in. Once again, a big thank you to Yaz for all these questions. Next one. Question number three. If you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Can you tell me who said that? Is it A, Judy Garland, B, Marilyn Monroe, C, Marlon Brando, or D, John Wayne? Hmm, get those answers in. Great questions. They are great questions. Okay, hopefully you got an answer for that one. Moving on to question four. My mom said to me, you know, sweetheart, one day you should settle down and marry a rich man. I said, mom, I am a rich man. Was that A, Madonna, B, Lady Gaga, C, Cher, or D, Mariah Carey? Who do you think that was? Write your answer down. Get it ready. 19 of you, if you just joined us, you can play along. Okay, question five. Who said this? That's the great thing about Catholicism. It's so vague and no one really knows what it's about. <laughs> Is it A, Father Ted, B, Geraldine Granger from Vicar O'Dibley, C, Reverend Lovejoy from The Simpsons, or D, Sister Michael from the Derry Girls. And you've got a bit of time to work that one out. Okay, hopefully you got uh, you got an answer for those. And it is now time, now time, I don't know what accent that was, uh, it is now time <laughs> for the answers. So it's very strange not being able to see you all or message you all. Uh, hopefully uh, you did all right there. Now, I'm, we are trusting you all to mark your own. We're trusting you um, not to cheat, of course. I think you're all honest people. You work at Creedy, of course you are. So all you do is give it a tick if you got it right or a cross if you got it wrong. And you only get a point if you get the correct answer. So back to question one. I knew what my job was. It was to go out and meet the people and love them. A, Madonna, B, Winston Churchill, C, Lenny Henry, or D, Princess Diana. And the answer was D, Princess Diana. Well done if you got that one. Next, it's every parent's dream to outlive their children. Who did you think that was? It was B, Homer Simpson. I thought that one would be a little bit, a bit more from like a deep cap, like Nelson Mandela saying that one. <laughs> um, question three, if you can't handle me at my worst, then you sure as hell don't deserve me at my best. Who said that? It was the iconic B, Marilyn Monroe. Well done. Question number four. My mom said to me, you know, sweetheart, one day you should settle down and marry a rich man. I said, mom, I am a rich man. Who said that? It was none other than C, Cher. Sure. I can't do the Cher voice. I'm not, I'm not going to carry on. <laughs> okay, next one. 
Uh, that's the great thing about Catholicism. It's so vague and no one really knows what it's about. Who said that? It was A, Father Ted. So there you go. Those are your answers. All you have to do now is write your scores in the comment section just below the video, just like everybody's done. And I'll give you a little shout out with your score and we can keep track of it as well. So pop your score in the comment section now. Go, go, go. Let's see how you've all done. It's only out of five, that one. This is just to ease you in, just to get you in slowly. Hopefully you've all done okay. Hopefully you've all did all right. Out of five, of course, this one. Let's see how you've done. Here we go. Right. Thank you for those. So Jason has got three. Amazon, four out of five. Well done, Amazon. Crystal on three. It's respectable. Morgan on three. Chloe on four. Jason is on two. And this looks like it's Tia rather than Nicola. But on Nicola's profile, that's fine. Uh, that's uh, Tia on four. Four. Okay. Varied scores. Anyone have any more scores to come in? Get them in on the comment section. Looks like we've got, should have 17 of you playing along or 17 of you are just watching and having a good time. Let's see if there's any more to come in. Well done. Thank you for those that have sent them. Lovely to see you all. Thank you for playing along. Write your scores in the comment section. Okay. Let's see if we've got any more. There might be some more coming up in just a minute. Right, so we've got more rounds to come, so don't worry if you didn't do very well, but you've all done quite well there. You've all got quite respectable scores, I think. All okay. Oh, we've got uh, something from John on WhatsApp. Thank you, John, on WhatsApp. John said, we can't comment, but we got five. Uh, yeah, if you want to message me via Facebook, uh, if you've got me on Facebook, Dom Hall, uh, you can message me on there, or if you've got my number, whatever you want to do, just let me know what your score. Uh, oh, Sophie said she got two. Sophie Friend. Thanks for joining Sophie. Ah, oh, there we go. And the Hot Tub Boys got five. That's from Steve and John. Hmm, I'm not sure about that, but I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Actually, we took a dog for a walk down in um, Budley Salston today, which is in our radius of where we're allowed to go. And we bumped into Steve on the coastal path. It was very, very odd. My partner went, oh, hang on, there's someone coming. We better, better get out of his way. And I was like, oh, it's Steve. <laughs> Funny. Anyway, OK, thank you for those scores. Right, we're going to move on then to our next round. And this is a points builder round. So you'll need your pen and your answer sheet again. And this time you'll need to keep your answer, uh, your eyes on the screen as there's going to be some clues and some helps with some of the questions. Some of the questions are all of them, uh, which will be visual. So take a look at the screen. Watch closely. Here we go. Question number one. What was the most dialed telephone number in the UK on home phones and office telephones? <laughs> Steve saying the dog hated me. Yeah, she did hate you, Steve. I think it was the hat. She's got a thing about hats. She's a big Newfoundland. She was about the size of Steve, actually. That was probably what, she, <laughs> what her problem was. <laughs> okay, what was the most dialed telephone number in the UK on home and office telephones? Write your answer down. Okay, question two. What is the word to describe a plant, animal or human that is both male and female? Now, this is quite a dated question, actually. Uh, that is both male and female in terms of genitalia. I've never had to say that before, but I feel it's 2021, isn't it? We're progressive. We've got to, got to say it with the times. <laughs> And if you want a shout out as well, then just let me know. We'll give you a little shout out on the comments. Question three, who was the youngest ever American president? That is the American president to get in office. So who was the youngest ever American president? Write your answer down. There 
Let me know. Or don't let me know your answer. Just write it down. I'll see how you did at the end. Question four. Right, bear with me on this one. I've got a slight lisp, of you may, as you may have noticed. Right. Hippopotomonstrosidequipedaleophobia oh, I think I did it. is a fear of what? I'm not going to repeat that one. But the word displayed on your screen now, what is it a fear of? Write your answer down. And if your families are playing along with you tonight as well, hello to all of your families. Thank you for joining us. The Creedy Crew Quiz. Okay, your next question. What is the capital city of Australia? What is the capital city of Australia? Write it down. Okay, no visual aids yet, but I think we're getting there to some visual aids on the screen. So for the next couple of questions, keep an eye on the screen. Six, what Z is this? So you should be seeing on your screen now, a picture of that big machine. It begins with Z. What is it called? What is it called? Write it down. Have a guess if you're not sure. It's always good to have a guess. Always good to have a guess. Hmm. Okay, moving on. What year did this music icon pass away? Now there's a clue as to what music icon it is. Work out who it is and then tell me what year did this music icon pass away? Get the idea now? Basic, simple, easy. You can all do this. What year did he pass away? <gasps> did they pass away? Give you a clue then. Okay. Question number eight. What breed of dog is this? Have a look at the dog on screen and tell me what breed of dog is it? My brother had one of these and it pinned me up against the wall <laughs> when I first met it. And apparently it did it to everybody who walks in the door and it wants to know what you smell like, what you look like from up close in your face. Her name was Roxy. Okay, question number nine. What is the name of this toy? If you've got kids, this might have helped you. It was a popular Christmas present a couple of years ago. What is the name of this toy? Write your answer down. Got one more of these questions to go. What is the name of this toy? And the final question in this round. What film is this screenshot taken from, this scene? Got a couple of clues on the screen there. What film is this scene from? Have a good look, have a good guess. Okay. Now, before we go on to those answers, we need to check in, see what the leaderboard looks like. Now, I'm not looking after the leaderboard tonight. No, no, no. It's not me. I'm not looking after the leaderboard. I am going to introduce a very good friend of mine. Please welcome our very own Creeley Entertainment Team leader. It's Yaz! Hello! Hello, How everyone. Welcome, welcome. How are you? I am very good. How are you? 
very, very well. Looking very radiant as ever. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to hand over to you and uh, let's find out who is uh, in, on the leaderboard. Who's in the lead? So in the lead with five out of five at the moment is John and Steve, the hot boys at the moment. Um, close, coming up second, I mean, four points is Amazon, Chloe, Nicholas slash Tia. And, and then everyone else is just kind of slowly building up. But we'll see what uh, the second round or the other rounds do. And we'll see if anything changes. <laughs> hey, thanks, Yay. Yaz. <laughs> Yaz is our official scorekeeper tonight. And uh, hopefully you're going to be keeping an eye on everybody, making sure they're not cheating, right? Yeah, absolutely. I am telepathic somehow. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Yaz. We'll see you after the next set of questions. Bye. Yaz, Yaz, everyone, she's over this side. <laughs> Great. So Yaz is going to be keeping an eye on all your scores. So let's get some more answers, shall we? So we are going to find out the answers now. So you get one point for every correct answer. So remember, you just get a tick and you get a point if you get it right. If you get it wrong, you get nothing. So what was the most dialed telephone number in the UK on home and office telephones when they were at the large? It was one four seven one the number that you dial oh julie uh yeah julie uh saying she got four on the first round so julie is on the board there you go thank you julie yeah feel free to message me if you want if you can't comment on youtube that's fine um so it was one four seven one which was what the number you called uh to return a call there you go what is the word to describe, to describe a plant or human that is both male and female? What was your answers? Shout it at your telly now. It's hermaphrodite. Yes, it's a hermaphrodite. There you go. So they have both a male organ and a female organ. I hope you enjoyed those actions. Uh, number three is Theodore Roosevelt was the youngest ever president. Theodore Roosevelt for that one. Well done if you got that. It's a tricky one. And of course, we're about to get a brand new president, aren't we? That's uh, due to happen any day now. Okay. Hippopotomonstrosidequipedaliophobia is a fear of what? What did you have? It was long words believe it or not yes it is a fear of long words can you believe it it's not hippos it's not equipment it is the fear of long words next what is the capital city of australia it's canberra spelled c-a-n-b-e-r-r-a -R -R -A. so canberra that one give yourself a tick if you got it right what z what z is this called and this is a zamboni or a zam yeah is a zamboni yes zamboni not like the river not a zambezi it's the zamboni and that is one of those machines that recuts the ice on an ice rink who knew i knew next one <laughs> question seven what year did this music icon pass away first of all what musical icon is it it is of course Michael Jackson, and he passed away in 2009. Well done. Have you got that one? Question eight, what breed of dog is this? Now, this one catches a few people out. It's not a husky. It's not a Siberian husky or any kind of husky. It is an Akita. That's spelt A-K-I-T-A. -A. Akita. Question number nine, what is the name of this toy? Your answer was a fingerling. So a fingerling, I can't act out ling, but it's a fingerling. And finally, question number 10, what film is this scene from? What were your guesses? It was Big Hero 6. That's Big Hero 6, one of my favourite, favourite ever Disney films. Uh, so... It's now time again. How did you do on that round? Write your scores in the comment section below the video. Or if you're on Facebook or WhatsApp, you can send it to me as well. And I will uh, I'll pass that on to our lovely Yaz. Yaz is going to jot them down. If you look now, Yaz is frantically 
writing uh writing down look she's frantically looking at comments <laughs> waiting for them to come <laughs> very nice yes uh so write your <laughs> write your comments write your scores in the comments let us know how got how uh how you got on so that was that was like out of 10 and all you have to do don't add it on just write down out of 10 how many you got right in that round and yaz will add it up for you so oh here we go put my drink down Dom. look we've got scores coming in right so we've got jason is on there first jason got four thank you jason pring we've got jason loosemore got nine out of ten nine jason very good if you're being honest uh, then we had amazon had six thank you amazon well done nicola on three crystal on six oh, sorry nicola is tia isn't it uh crystal on six Steve and the Hot Tub Boys didn't do so well there uh, and put five on the Hot Tub Boys. Sophie Friend got two. It's okay, Sophie. There's still lots of rounds to come. Uh, Morgan got four. Four is okay. Why the sad face? And five for Chloe. And there's some, uh, some stick there going for, I think, Jason's score. But Jason... We trust you. We think we hope you're being honest. We hope you're being true. That's right. <coughs> right. Okay. So Yaz is going to tally up those scores, and we're going to move on to the next quiz. How did you do? Write your comments. We got all of your scores. Thank you very much. Okay. So we've got five more questions coming up. We've got two rounds. Five questions in each round. This round is called and appropriately named because tomorrow. Drag Race UK is starting on the telly, everybody. And we're all very excited about it, aren't we? Yes, we are. So uh, Drag Race UK is not a drag race round, don't worry. But this one is called UK You Slay. And this is questions based on all things Britain. Oh, and Julie, sorry, Julie has put two. I've got a message from Julie. I've got it, Julie. Thank you. She's got two. Well done, Julie. <laughs> Probably could have done a bit better, Julie. Lee, come on, help Julie out. Right. So question number one on the UK you slay round. Whoops, Daisy. There we go. <clears throat> so question number one. <clears throat> what brand beginning with the letter M is the most missed by food uh, most missed food by uh, Brits abroad? Sorry, get my brain around that one. <laughs> What brand beginning with the letter M is the most missed food by Brits abroad? There we go. A, McVitie's, the biscuits. B, Marmite. C, McCain's chips. Or D, Monster Munch. We're back to multiple choice. Write your answer down. Don't put it in the comments. A, B, C or D. Next question. What was voted number one in a best of British poll by hotel chain Holiday Inn in 2019? Fish and chips, the queen, cream teas, or the classic British Sunday roast? What are you going for? A, B, or C? Best of British. What is the best thing about being British? Next question. Where must at least one snowflake fall on Christmas Day for it to be deemed an official white Christmas? A, the London Weather Centre. B, the Houses of Parliament. C, Buckingham Palace. Or D, number 10, Downing Street. Boris's front door. Where must at least one snowflake fall on Christmas Day for it to be deemed an official white Christmas? Good question, this. Next one. Question number four of the top 10 surnames in Britain, which one is also the name of a colour? So there's 10 names, top 10 names in Britain. Which one in that top 10 is also the name of a colour? Is it A, white, B, black, C, grey, or D, brown? Pop your answer down, write it down, type it in your keypad, whatever you got to do. Uh, 
Next one. Final question on the British round. What is the most popular Indian restaurant curry in Britain? A, chicken korma. B, chicken tikka masala. C, vindaloo. Or D, the balti. Now, I used to be a fan of the korma. But I, qu I quite now like a boona. I do like a boona from time to time. Okay, right. So that's five questions on British. The next one is TV and film. You've got five questions on TV and film, all multiple choice again. We've all watched enough of it, of it this year. You are absolutely right. So question number one on this round, TV and film. The name of Harry Potter's mother... Mother way, Lily, uh, sorry, was Lily. That's my fault, typing it up. Uh, the name of Harry Potter's mother was Lily. What was the name of his aunt? A, Poppy. B, Daisy. C, Rose. Or D, Petunia. Write your answer down. A, B, C, or D. Next up. Question number two, Nancy Cartwright provides the voice for which 10-year-old boy? A, Horrid Henry, B, Dennis the Menace, C, Bart Simpson, or D, Naughty Norman Price from Fine and Sam? Horrid Henry, of course, from Horrid Henry. Dennis the Menace from Dennis the Menace. Bart Simpson from The Simpsons. And Naughty Norman Price from Fine and Sam. A, B, C, or D. Question number three in TV and film round. Who is the only person to have sung three Bond movie themes? A, Shirley Bassey. B, Tom Jones. C, Nancy Sinatra. Or D, Paul McCartney. Shirley Bassey, Tom Jones, Nancy Sinatra, Paul McCartney. I'm so excited for the next Bond film. So excited, so ready. Right, question four. Which horror character has appeared in more movies than any other? Which horror character has appeared in more movies than any other? A, Dracula, B, Frankenstein, C, The Slender Man, or D, Igor? Pop your answer down. Now, don't forget there are prizes to be won this evening. Lots of prizes. We're gonna do first place, second place, and third place prizes. So keep going, guys, keep going. And question number five, before we go over those answers, what did approximately 20,000 households still have in 2011? A, VHS players, B, a remote control on a wire, C, a TV without free view, or D, black and white TV set? Hmm, it's a tricky one, but I think you can get it. I know we certainly didn't have one in our household <laughs> in 2011. Okie dokie there. Now, before we go to the answers, we need to check those scores from the last round. So that means bringing in our trusty points assistant. It's the one and only Yasmin. Woo, 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 woo. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello. So these are the scores so far. In third place with nine points, we have got Crystal and Chloe. In second with 10 points, it's very very close amazon and the hot tub lads or whatever you're calling yourselves steve and john and in first place so far with 11 points we've got jason lismore Woo! but it can all change it's all early doors yet we've got some more rounds to go but yeah go on jason nice one well, hey, back, <laughs> back to Dom in the studio. <laughs> right, thanks so much. And uh, good job to Jason at the top of the leaderboard so far. But it, it could all change. Well done. It could all mm -hmm. change. Thanks, Yaz. Right, here we go. Shall we do some answers? Da, da, da. 
Right, so one point for correct answer. You know how it works now. What brand beginning with the letter N is the most missed food by Brits abroad? The answer was, of course, Marmite. Love it or hate it, people miss it. I personally hate it, uh, but the answer was Marmite. It was B. Next question. Uh, what's, uh, what was voted number one in the best of British poll by Hotel Chain Holiday Inn in 2019? What did you have? The answer is fish and chips. Oh, and don't we just miss a fish and chips at the minute more so than ever? My gosh, I love a fish and chips. Question number three was, where must at least one snowflake fall on Christmas Day for it to be deemed an official white Christmas? I didn't know this. Um, my partner said Exeter because the Met Office is in Exeter, uh, which is quite a logical answer, but it wasn't on the list. Uh, but the answer is the London Weather Centre. That was A. Well done if you got that one. Next of the top 10 surnames in Britain, which one is also the name of a colour? And the answer was, of course, D, brown. And then the next question, uh, my personal favourite, uh, before I moved on to Abuna, uh, was what is the most popular Indian restaurant curry in Britain? It is, of course, a tikka masala. Very good. That was B there. Then we went on to our TV and film questions. Hopefully you're doing okay so far. The name of Harry Potter's mother was Lily. What was the name of his aunt? It was D, Petunia. I would have never have got that in a million years. Uh, apologies, Yaz. I know you're a, you're a Potter fan. Shameful. Hang my head. Uh, Nancy Cartwright provides the voice for which 10-year-old boy? The answer is, of course, Bart Simpson. Well done if you got that one. Who's the only person to have sung three Bond movie themes? The answer, Shirley Bassey. That's A, Shirley Bassey. And question number four, which horror character has appeared in more movies than any other? It is, in fact, Dracula. Well done if you got that one. Then the final question in this section here, what did approximately 20,000 households still have in 2011? The answer, black and white TV sets. Well done if you got that one. Tricky, tricky set of questions, that one, but hopefully you did all right. So how did you do? Let's write some comments in the answer section, which comes up on my screen over here, but your screen down there. <laughs> So pop your score. That is out of 10 again, and we're going to add those on. Add those on. Now, I am going to do it. I wasn't going to do the next round, but the next round is going to be a little bit different. So pop your answers in the comments. So here we go, starting with Jason. Jason? Jason Pring now. 10 out of 10? Way, Jason. Well done. Sophie Friend got six. Well done, Sophie. Steve and John got four and five. Steve and John, you're going to have to explain yourself. Four and five. Uh, Jason, Lou Small again with nine. Good scores from Jason. Uh, Nicola got seven, uh, which is also Tia. <laughs> Uh, then we've got Morgan with another seven. We've got Steve with nine. Hang on a minute, guys. If we're going to mess around and we're going to all say that we got nine, then we're not going to give any prizes out. We'll just do it for fun. Uh, okay. Then we've got Crystal with five. Lee and Julie got nine. Well done if you got nine. Amazon with six. Chloe with eight, and Lee just explaining, and Lee and Julie explain how many they got. It's fine. We're gonna trust you guys, and if it's it's on you guys if you've lied and you've played us, so that's on you. Right. So this next round is gonna be a little bit different. Okay. So we're gonna lose that for just a moment. So this next round, we are just gonna set this one up. So bear with me just a second. Make sure that's ready. So this next one is going to be a British TV theme tune quiz. OK, so I'm going to play you some TV theme tunes. They are going to come out over your speaker. So make sure your volume is up nice and loud. 
Bear with me. I'm just going to have some technical difficulties, I'm sure. Okay, it looks like we are almost ready. So these go quite quickly, these do. So all you have to do um, is write down the name of the TV uh, TV show that the theme tune is from. Okay, so it does go quite quickly. So we will play them through twice. There are 20 TV theme tunes. Okay, so there's lots of points to get here. They go very, very quick. So brace yourself. Um, turn your speakers up. Good luck. Um, 20, write down one to 20. Get lots of space lined up. Oh, and Chloe has just messaged me as well, Yaz, and put, she's got, uh, oh, 11 so far. It's fine. Right, here we go then. Let's hear those British TV theme tunes. Listen close. That's number one. <laughs> That's number five, that one. Ready to go quick. That's number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. There we go. Number 11. Number 12. Fifteen, five more to go. Number eighteen, nearly there. Nineteen and twenty. And that is all you need. So well done. Um hopefully you got them all. Did you get them all? Of course you didn't. It's so fast, so, so fast. Don't worry, we are gonna play them through again for you. So have another go, uh, try them out uh, for the second time and see how you get on with these. Let's play it. Good luck, listen closely.
And there you go. There you have it. Well done. Uh, hopefully you all did okay there. It's a tricky, tricky quiz that one. Uh, but I, I think you, I think you all did all right. I think so. Um, whoa! Don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. You don't need to hear that. There you go. Uh, so uh, we're going to do the answers. But before we do the answers, I'm going to hand over uh, to the lovely Yasmin to find out how the leaderboard is looking. So Yaz, hello. Hello again. Hello, everyone. Hi, hi, hi. So um, no change at the top. Uh, Jason Lusmore, you're still number one, mate. 20 points. You're doing very good. Now, the other two have changed. Second place now, we have got John and Steve, hashtag in the hot tubs, having the best time with 19 points. And in third place, we've got a joint third, Jason Pring and Chloe with 17 points. But it's all to play for. It could all change. We don't know. It is yeah. all to play for. Thank you, Yaz. Round of applause for Yaz, everybody, with our Thank scores you. this evening. Thank you very much. <laughs> Okay, so we're now going to go back over the answers. Um, so what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to play the tracks, but I'm going to tell you the answers here. So you will hear them, uh, but you won't see them on the screen. Woo! It's all going wrong now. Okay, so the answers are going to be over here, uh, but I will read them out as we go. So here we go. Listen close. I'm going to read the answers as we go. So that one was Harry Hill's TV Burt. That's Harry Hill's. TV Burt. Then we got Top Gear. John sent me the picture of his answers. That's very honest, John. Thank you. This was Torchwood. That one's Torchwood. Then we got Russell Howard's Good News. Hopefully you're doing okay so far. Then it's EastEnders at number five. This is number five. EastEnders. We all know that one. Easy peasy. Uh, then we've got six is Deal or No Deal. Classic. Bring Deal or No Deal back. That's what I say. Seven is, of course, I'm a celebrity to get me out of here. Love that in the castle this year. That was great. Uh, then we've got The X Factor at number eight. That's The X Factor. Number nine, Casualty. Ten. Hollyoaks. Eleven was Holby City. Twelve, Yaz's personal favourite. That was the one show. This one is the gadget show. I wasn't quick enough there. This one's the gadget show. Then 14, Strictly Come Dancing. Then we got 15. <laughs> <laughs> then 16 is a question of sport. 17 is Robin Hood. That was the TV series, Robin Hood. Um, 18, a classic, Waterloo Road. Oh, love a bit of Waterloo Road. Then 19, British icon of a programme. Countdown. And finally, 20 is, of course, 
Doctor Who. Okay, it's time to see those answers. Let me know how you've got on. Let's have a look. How did you score? Right, your score just out of 20, just so you know. I don't know if it's been a little bit of a confusion tonight, maybe. Uh, but write down your score out of 20 there. You're not writing your score from the whole quiz. Just a score out of 20. Chloe has got in there first on Facebook. Chloe has said she's got 12. Thank you, Chloe. Sophie has got in there. Sophie, uh, Sophie's got 12. Jason got 13. Wow, cracking score. Uh, Tia and Nicola has got 14. Morgan on nine, respectable. Steve got 17 out of 20. You're showing your age there, Steve. Uh, Lee and Julie got six out of 20. It is tough. It's a really, really tough round, that one. But there's still one more round to play for. Any more scores to come in? Any more scores to come in on WhatsApp, Facebook? Should have 15 of you and there's only five scores there. If you're still with us, pop your score in the comments. Uh, Jason Loosemore got 18 out of 20, Jason. You watch too much telly. Then Amazon, 20. Crystal with 12. Then we've got Chloe with 15. Dean. Well done, Chloe. Just so you know, we've got two Chloe's, Yaz. Did you know? Did you know it? Realize that I've got a Chloe Haysom and a Chloe Hawthorne. Chloe Retail and Chloe Food. <laughs> and Steve saying, show my age. How very dare you? Sorry, Steve. <laughs> right. Okay, hopefully, Yaz, you've got that. Do we need to know Chloe, the two Chloe's full scores? Maybe we can get that. We might have to get the two Chloe's to work out their own. That might have been my fault. We could do that at the end, at the end. Don't worry. Okay, there is one more round to go. One more round to go. And this last round is not TV and film. It says TV and film, but the logo there says Twitter. And this one. Uh, this one is called, da, 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 what is the tweet? What's the tweet? And uh, all you have to do is fill in the blank word to complete the tweet. I'm going to show you a tweet on the screen and you have to pick one from multiple choice list that uh, tells, you, tells us what the tweet is once it's completed. So here we go. I'm going to hand over to our quiz screen and question number one. Here we go. So this was a tweet from Cher at 6.42 in the morning on March the 7th in 2013. And it said, iPad freezing up. Maybe it's overwhelmed because it just realised a fabulous blank was touching it. Can't really blame it. Snap out of it. <laughs> OK, so what is that blank? <laughs> Wait, Yaz, hang on. I feel like we need to just get your share impression here. Can you just give us a give us that in the share voice? <clears throat> Snap out of it. <laughs> Perfect. So is that A That's woman? <laughs> B singer. C diva. Or D goddess. I got myself got myself look confused then. Right. Pop down your answer. Woman, singer, diva, goddess. I love that share impression so much. Makes me so happy. Right. Question number two. This was a tweet from Pope Francis at 2 p.m. on June the 18th, 2015. The earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an immense pile of blank. A. Filth. B. Waste. C, shit, he got hacked, or D, dog feces. What do you think the answer is? Now I must ask, Yaz, can you um, do an impression of the Pope? I, I, I think we should save that for another day. Got you. Next week. <laughs> Maybe next week. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
your next question. This one's from the infamous Donald J. Trump, who now no longer is on Twitter. <laughs> Sucks to be him. Uh, an extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's blank is a fraud. Now, is that blank A, marriage certificate, B, passport, C, driver's license, or D, birth certificate? What is it? Answer the question, write it down, type it in with your thumbs. Do, 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 do. Okay. Is he out of office yet? Is he gone? Was it today? I'm not sure. It wasn't today. Ah, oh, hang on, Yaz. Let's bring you back on. It's when is it? Next week, the twentieth. Oh. Got you. Thanks. I'll put it on my calendar. <laughs> right. Your next question. Question number four. Ignore that top bit. This is from Chris Jenner. This was at nine forty-six p.m. on September the sixth, two thousand and twelve. Chris Jenner said, I feel like there's a giant blank inside of me. Is it A, baby, B, melon, C, penis, or D, meatloaf? What's your answer? I feel like there's a giant blank inside of me. Thank you, Steve, for the Donald Trump uh, input on the comments. Next week. Next week. <laughs> Okay, and we've got one more question. It is question five. Ignore it. It says question three. I apologise for that. Uh, this is from John Cleese. This was in 2007, <laughs> the very, very early days of Twitter. And it was at 1.43 in the afternoon, and he said, I am still blank. Ah, you can see what I've done there, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very good at copy and pasting. You <laughs> Oh, is he A, English? Is he B, alive? Hmm. Is he C, married? Or D, <laughs> acting? What do you think it could possibly be? Do you know what? I proofread this first half of this quiz and went, do you know what? The second half will be fine. I don't need to proofread, read the rest of it. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what the answer could be there. Your guess is as good as mine. Okay, but you know what? Let's do the answers. <laughs> Thank you, Amazon, for the support in the laughing faces. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's do some answers for that round. The final round of the evening. Okay. The first one, question one, iPad freezing up. Maybe it's overwhelmed because it just realised a fabulous blank was touching it. Can't really blame it. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Yes, yeah, give me that. Go on. Snap out of it. <laughs> hey, the answer was, of course, Diva. That was Diva. Okay. I'm a your diva. Question. Question number two. The Earth, our home, is beginning to look more and more like an impressive pile of blank. It was a filth. A filth. Next one from Donald Trump. An extremely credible source has called my office and told me that Barack Obama's birth certificate is a fraud. It is birth certificate. There you go. That is D, birth certificate. Question four. I feel like there's a giant blank inside of me. From Chris Jenner. It was meatloaf. I'm not sure how meatloaf actually felt about that. But there you go. <laughs> And finally, question number five, of course, hmm, the whole quiz, all those questions without an error, and I gave you the answer on the very last one. What am I like? It is, of course, I am still alive. Okay, <laughs> shall we get some answers? I think we'll, uh, sorry, let's get some scores. How did you do? So pop down your score from that round in there. Chloe Hawthorne got three out of five. Thank you for that answer. Morgan oh. got four. Steve Walsh in the Hot Tub Boys got five. 
So this is just out of five guys. Yeah, absolutely right. Here we go. Here comes some more. We've got Tia. Four. Very nice, Tia. Jason Pring is on three out of five. Amazon, four out of five. Well done, Amazon. Jason Loosemore, three out of five. Chloe Haysom, Chloe Haysom is four out of five. Sophie Friend, three out of five. And Julian Lee is three out of five. Thank you very much for those scores. Now, I'm sure you are all waiting for the results, the final results of this quiz this evening. So, I am going to hand over to Yaz. Now, Yaz, can we get the full results from bottom? Oh, she's writing away. Look, she's writing away. Can we get the full results from the bottom to the top? Do you reckon we can get it? In a min, yeah. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm still, I'll fill. I'm still going. You can you fill. Go. Um, give me a minute, yeah? All right, I'll fill. See you in a minute, yeah. <laughs> Right. Well, there you go. Uh, thank you so much. I'll do my goodbyes and my thank yous now. Uh, thank you so much for playing along this evening. Uh, we are going to look at some more of this live element stuff on YouTube uh, over this lockdown. I think we're going to be here for a little while. Um, so we're probably going to be looking at doing some live bingo again. We like a bit of bingo where there's a little bit more on screen. It's a little bit more visual for you instead of just me uh, reading the numbers out and trying to hold my iPad up. Uh, so we're probably going to do a little bit of bingo over lockdown again. I'm also going to do some more of these quizzes. Uh, but if there's anything that you would like to see uh, me do or if you'd like to not see me do that sounds a little bit sordid doesn't it if you'd like to um, be entertained and if you want me to do anything or if you have any ideas it'd be great to hear from you so please do drop me a message um, or if you're just happy and just let me know what you thought of the quiz let me know how you thought um, it's gone over over a little bit I only wanted to do an hour and a half but we've gone over to an hour and 35 minutes but that's okay hope you thank you for sticking around and thank you for your support um, so yeah, let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts, and of course, stay in touch. And if you want to, let me know now. What have you been doing over lockdown? Now, of course, I've uh, been very preoccupied with moving into this beautiful Creeley Lodge down at Creeley Meadows. I'm very, very blessed to be living here. It was my partner's birthday yesterday, so I made a cake. It was good cake as well. John and Steve, uh, we've got loads left, so I'll bring you some over in a little while. Socially distanced on the doorstep, of course, but it's a lemon cake, so I'll bring you some cake over. Um, and we we signed up to a website called Borrow My Doggy, where you go and pick someone's dog up, all COVID secure, and you take it for a walk. Oh, Yaz, we've got a total from Jason saying his total was 33 out of 50, if that helps. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. She's jotting it down. She's going through them. Oh, actually, uh, the two Chloe's, if you could tell us your total score, I trust both of you. You're very trustworthy people. So, Chloe's, if you could tell us your score as well. Yaz, go on. Yeah, I've got Jace, uh, I've got Chloe Haysom because she's been putting it all in the comments. I haven't cool. got the Chloe that's been texting you. I've not got any of hers. I just need a final score. OK, Chloe, Thank if you. you're still with me, send through your um, your results on Facebook now. I'm ready for it. Yaz is still typing away. She's still getting it down. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's that's me. Tell me what you've been up to in lockdown. Hopefully you're all staying safe. And hopefully, I was talking about the dog, wasn't I? I was talking about Minnie. Mm -hmm. So I, I I go and borrow a um, a Newfoundland. She's beautiful. She's such a beautiful dog. In fact, I'll show you how beautiful she is. And she met Steve today and she was very angry at Steve. <laughs> it was very funny. Oh, Chloe Hawthorne got 26. Thank you. This is Minnie. Look how beautiful she is. So I go and pick her up and she gets in the back of my car. Oh, not my car. She gets in Cameron's car. And um, we take her for walks. And today, I don't know if you can see that, we took her along the southwest coast path down in Budley Salterton. It was lovely. Um, and you can sign up for that. It costs £10 for the year. And you could just borrow people's dogs and take them for walks. Or if they need dog sitting, obviously, you can't dog sit at the moment. But um, yeah, it's great. Sign up to it. It's so good. It's such a good service. And if you love dogs like I do, then um, very, very good. I've been drinking a lot as well. <laughs> Got a little bit drunk last night for Cameron's birthday. 
we're hoping to have the hot tub, but he wouldn't let us have the hot tub. So, boys, if you have the hot tub, I'm very jealous tonight. Uh, also, uh, I know what I've got to do. It's Steve's birthday tomorrow. Happy 45th birthday to Steve. He's not 45, really. <laughs> Happy birthday uh, to Steve. Hope you have a great day tomorrow. Um, I should have saved you some balloons, really, shouldn't I? I've just popped all the balloons. Um, then, uh, but happy birthday to our very own uh, food manager, uh, food and beverage manager, the lovely Steve. Happy birthday to you. Hope you have a great day walking 20 miles, no doubt. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to hand it over now for the results to our lovely Yasmin. Da, da, da. Where are you? There you are. Ha -ha. And just like that. Thank you very much. Always gone. Hello, everyone. So we have got our final scores. What I'm going to do is go from last place all the way up to first place and announce what you've all got, where you all came in the listings. So in 10th place, we have Julie with 24 points. Well done, Julie. That is very good. Going up to ninth place. You don't want me. Are you okay? I'm the star now, Dom. Get your face off. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so <laughs> we've got Sophie. She came in ninth place with 25 points. Well done, Sophie. Then up to joint eighth place, we have got Crystal and Chloe. The Chloe that's been texting Dom, not Chloe Hasem. Um, You both got 26 points. Well done, guys. Then we go up to joint seventh place. We've got Tony. Oh, by the way, Tony's been messaging me with her points all the way through it, Dom. And Morgan as well, joint seventh. Both got 27 points. Well done, guys. Then we go up to sixth place. Now, sixth place, 29 points. You have got uh, six, it's Amazon, sixth, 29 points. And we go up to fifth place. Amazon looks it's, like she's... <laughs> you came sixth. That's really good. <laughs> up to fifth place, we've got Tia. 32 points. Well done, Tia. And we're going into the top four now, okay? Top four, Jason P with 33 points. Thank you for telling me on the comments as well. That has helped me a lot. And we're in the top three, okay? So in third place tonight with our Creeley quiz with 36 points is Chloe Hasem. Well done, Chloe. You've got a bowl of soup. What? <laughs> you have won a bowl of soup. You have won your very own cream of tomato soup. Woohoo! Woo well I done. I will uh, put it to one side, put your name on it. I've got a label maker. I'll put your name on it, Chloe. That's yours uh, when you get back to work. Well done. Yay! <laughs> All right. Back to you, Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Dom. Now it's uh, very close at the top. Very close. It's one point in it. That's how close it is. One point. Wow. It's between Jason Lusmore or Team Hot Tub Lads. Ooh, Steve okay. Well, do you want to know what they're playing for? <sighs> yes. Let's go ahead, Dom. Go Second on. place. You won't believe this. They are playing for. The Buddy Bear Beach Towel! Woo! Yay! <laughs> Who's won it? Old picture of Buddy. Right, <laughs> yeah, so with the Buddy Bear Beach Towel. He's not, they've not had one of these before. I can assure you they've never seen one before or <laughs> they've never had one. It's very rare and exclusive and they're going to really want it. It's John and Steve! <laughs> Way. So when they go in their hot tub, they've got a nice Buddy Bear Beach towel. <laughs> well done, <Steve. laughs> Which means with 41 points, taking it tonight was Jason Loosemore. Well done, mate. What's he won? Jason Loosemore has won, courtesy of Joshua Hayward, <gasps> £10 Tesco voucher. Yay! Well done. Well done. Well done everyone so so good and you know what thank you so much to all of you guys i know there's not loads of you uh but it's been so good for you all to stick around with us tonight and me and yaz have put this together over the last few days yaz did it all yesterday i've done it all today um and uh, it's been a lot of fun so um hopefully you've all enjoyed it have you enjoyed it yaz i've had the best time i've had it's the best time it's been wicked um, we should so do another one <laughs> 
I think we should do another one as well. So same time, uh, but on Tuesday next week, we'll go back to a Tuesday time. It was just because it was Cameron's birthday yesterday and he didn't want to sit and listen to me do this for an hour. Um, so I thought we'd move it to tonight. Um, but same time, Tuesday at 7.30, I'll be here. Yaz, are you going to come back and join us? Oh, go on then, Not, nothing else to do, is there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, stay safe, everybody, and we will see you really soon. Let me know what you want to see over uh, this next sort of a couple of weeks over lockdown. Jason, make sure you send me your address. Um, Chloe Haysom, I'm not going to post your soup. I'll put it to one side. You can have it when you're back. Uh, <laughs> thank you very much to all of you for playing along. I will, uh, we'll see you next week, shall we, Yaz? Yeah, see you soon. Bye, everybody. Thanks very much. Bye.